right, you wanna go ahead and tell us what is done to it? So this is a 2016 Scat Pack Shaker. I have um, long tube headers, uh, custom grind can, the engine is forged with new rods and pistons. Okay, and that's about it? That's about it. No intake? No, the, no intake. No, they say, they told me that, that for the shaker, that's the best intake you can get. Okay, do you want to pop in the hood? Sure. Let's take a look inside and see how it looks. Yeah, the shaker is a very neat little thing. The shaker hood. And it's got these cool stripes that go run down the middle. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, you have that, uh, the Mopar yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. CIA, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. You got a brace in there too? Yeah, I got a brace and there's only the front brace. And your oil the catch can and everything. All right guys, so this is the cars that are running today. We have my SRT392. Uh, obviously you guys know my car. It just has a Hellcat airbox, mid-muff delete, everything else is stock except for a wheel and tire in the back. I'm running some uh, Pirelli uh, P0 Corsa, uh, pretty sticky tire. Um, it gives you a nice grip. He's running the NT05 um, triple, or what is it, NT triple five R's? Uh, the Nittos with the Bravado uh, wheels. This he's got some aftermarket uh, mufflers on there, or sorry, uh, tips. Yeah, the tips. Yeah, they're just the tips. You got a wicker bell, which looks pretty cool, powered by SRT. Car needs a wash. <laughs> Both of us. Is this your daily driver? No, not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, you have a you have a too yeah. like ten miles per gallon. And it, yeah, yeah, I know your struggle because I daily drive this thing. Yeah. So yeah. Like, uh, How many miles are on the car? Thirty-eight. 38,000 yeah. miles, okay. Uh, I took it off a lot at five miles. Oh, cool, okay, so, but I've had it since new. You got the leather interior in there and everything? Yes, sir. You got the eel wire mod, all right, the blue eel wire. That's cool. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and then we're gonna take the cars out, see how they do, come back here and then, you know, end things. So what do you think? Who do you think has got it today? I think I got it today, man. For real? Yep, I think I got it, man. All right, because some people say the SRTs are tuned a little differently, that they have an edge, but you don't think so? Well, I don't think so. I just hear that about, uh, what I hear a lot about is the shifting points, that track mode and everything. That, changes the shifting points the transmission. The points, but yeah. other than that. Uh, I mean, technically the, the, the scat packs are lighter yeah. and you have more work done to it, so you should be able to gap me pretty good. So I just came out here just to take a humble gap and go home. Um, but yeah, it'll, it's gonna be a good run. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how it does. Any uh, last words? No. Nope. No? All right, well, good luck Bye. to you, man. He got me off the jump there, but I caught up to him.
right, guys, that's going to be the end of the Mexico runs for today. Those were some solid runs. Uh, we got to see what the cars can do. And uh, the SRT took it. Now, I don't know if that's because the tuning is a little different with the SRTs in track mode or what it is, but the SRT definitely uh, was pulling on the scat pack. And uh, I didn't really expect that because the scat packs are lighter. And this one has got more work done to it, like, you know, long tube headers and all that stuff. So I thought it would really kind of give me the gap, but, you know, things are not what they, uh, they always seem to be. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you think a car will be faster, but in real life it's a different story. So that's just all I wanted to kind of tell you guys. Now we're going to go ahead and discuss everything. See how things played out between the cars. Oh. All right, there's side boo. Dan, dude, those were some solid runs, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, that shit was fun. Your car sounds crazy. Dude, that thing sounds crazy. What do you think of uh, the runs? You got me, bro. You got me. Yeah, but it wasn't, it was like really close. Yeah, we were pretty like much. Like neck and neck for the yeah. most part. We had, we had a, a few issues with the runs where like yeah, one yeah. would take off and one would not. Um, but that that happens. We had a few clean ones though. I think like, yeah, I think they got like two, two or three, three clean ones. Yeah, yeah clean that, ones. That and two of them were yeah. one you took off and I got after you, and then one I took off and you got after me. But it was just nice to see like whoever gets a hit kind of kind of stay out in yeah, front yeah. for the most part. I think the SRT just has a little bit of an edge. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, could you've be. Because you raised other scat packs and you've taken them all. Like the, the yeah, I've seen at least. You know? For the most part, yeah. I feel like my my challenge has always been a little on the quicker, just a little quicker. But I honestly don't know. It might be that you have wider wheels, stick your tire. I don't know. There could be a lot of factors that play into it. Um, but at the end of the day, the runs were pretty good. Things sounds crazy. And I know your ultimate plan is to get it boosted, right? Yeah. I'm so this is just like a step in the road. I think if you had E85, you probably would have won. So you want to go ahead and just tell them one more time what you have under the hood? Long tube headers. Uh, the engine is forged. Uh, rods and pistons. I also have... Um, you have the Mopar CIA cold air intake. Yeah, um and then just has some cool stuff in the back wheel and tire obviously both of us have wheel and tire and then you have the wicker bell aftermarket tips and the, who's the car tuned by it's tuned by spanking time cars tuned by spanking time that's a shop in california yeah well he moved out to utah utah to utah okay yeah. so this car was tuned uh or is tuned by spanking time a shop that used to be here and yeah man those were uh, some of the the runs we had done today Cars look crazy next to each other. It was a lot of fun. Uh, when every time you have muscle against muscle going on. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Now, are you planning anything uh, soon for the car in terms of changes to it? I just want to get the the manifold and the throttle body ported. So after okay. That, well, let's rerun the cars once you get that done. Yeah. We'll see what, how that goes. So. All right, cool man. That's well, thanks for time. coming out, bro. I appreciate no problem, it. Bro.